Alrighty guys, going to show you a video on how to place a cell point on your map. Let's go up to the top where it says window. Scroll down here to where it says prefabs. And select selling station prefab. Double click. Go up here to the top. Hit import prefab. It'll import the prefab into the map. Now, you'll see it over here on your scenograph. Close out this window. You don't need that anymore. Make sure that's still highlighted. Go to the location you'd like to place the prefab. Hit Control B. B is in Bravo. Click where you want it to put. Release your mouse button. Move your prefab where you want it placed and there it is there's your selling point on the map okay now what you want to do is you're going to have to take these numbers over on the right where it says on the attributes window transform you're going to open up your default items and go to your map folder look for items.xml or it might say default items.xml right mouse click on it open with I like to use notepad plus plus you're going to want to open that up you don't see a whole bunch of numbers and letters and stuff and scroll down to where if you want to just use a generic cell point from the default map all you have to do is go to now let's do selling station green silo. Alright. Now we're going to go over here to the right where it says position. we got to change these numbers here. Okay. So the first one's translate X. We want to copy all these numbers including the minus in front of the numbers. So we're going to hit control C. Go back to our notepad highlight these numbers here hit control V okay and then do the same thing with the next set of numbers highlight it control C go back to your notepad hit highlight those second set of numbers control V always making sure there's a space between these set of numbers here alright Go back to your map, highlight those set of numbers, hit control C. Always making sure if there's a minus in front of the number to include that minus. Go over here, highlight those, hit control V. Alright, so your position's done. Now we got to work on the rotation. Set the second set of numbers, okay? So, can we, so we see rotation X is 0 and rotation Z is 0 so we don't have to worry about those right now. We'll kind of copy rotation Y, y hit control C and hit control highlight 90 hit control V and you'll see the first set is 0 the last set is 0 so we don't have to change those. Now just save your Control S will save your your notepad. And if you don't have Notepad Plus Plus, I highly recommend downloading. It's free, free to use, and it's a lot easier to use. So, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And when you're all done with that, you can delete this out of your map. It's no longer used. You don't. It won't even show up if you don't have those numbers in that XML file. Because everything is read off of this XML file right here. So that's all you have to do. You're all done. You can delete it. I like to leave it in there until I'm all done with the map. And then I'll just, when I'm all done with the map, I'll just delete that. And it's done. And when you go to load it up into the game, it'll show up. And then you'll have your cell point. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions or comments, Feel free to put them in the comment section and feel free to subscribe.
Thank you for watching this short video. Have a great day.